Prayer for the favor of God. Favor is the grace of getting things with ease. Or getting things done with ease than could have been possible in normal circumstances or situations. It is when God himself comes to a person's aid, then the generally given grace of God to all. When God is favoring a person, protocols at times are either suspended or fast forwarded. Favor can bequeath on a person what his or her capacity and ability cannot afford him or her. Favor can take a person to the position that his skills, ability and intelligence cannot take him or her. Favor can give a person in a day, or in a moment, or in an hour, or even in a minute, what would have taken him or her years of labor and laboring to achieve. When favor speaks for a person other things keep silent or are muted. Favor like grace, disgraces whosoever that tries to stand in its way or against the person been favored, especially when it is of God. We saw it in the case of Haman and the Jews in the book of Esther chapter 7 and 8. As we pray this hour, you will encounter the favor that will bring you a kind of transformation and change of story that you will not forget all through your life by the grace of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just as the Bible says of Jesus in Luke chapter 2 verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. After today, you will begin to have favor with God and with men in the manner that even you yourself will be amazed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. Alright, now. Let us pray. Everlasting Father King of Glory. Thank you this hour for your goodnesses, mercies, compassion and kindness. It is surely by your grace that we are not consumed. For there are indeed many enemies and adversaries that had preferred that we were no more. But through your grace, mercy and kindness you hadn't allowed them but instead, you have preserved, protected, delivered and kept us alive and in good health. Just as the scripture says in Psalm 18 verse 17. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Indeed Father Lord, it is something worthy of giving you thanks. And I say, thank you my dearest Father and Lord, for the grace and privilege. Father Lord, we thank you and appreciate you dear Father Lord for the favorable atmosphere of living that you have equally enabled and afforded us. Lord we return you all the glory, honors, thanksgiving and adoration. For you are worthy of them all in every way we may look at it. However dear Father Lord, because you have asked us to ask and it shall be given to us. Matthew 7 verse 7 ask, and it will be given to you, seek, and you will find, knock, and it will be opened to you. Verse 8. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Therefore Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask of you this hour, to deck and decorate my life with grace for favor. In the name of Jesus. Cause me to have favor with you and with men at all times and in all things. Let me find favor in your sight in my place of business, in relationships, in my home, in the area of health, in my career, in my place of work, and in all areas of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your favor go with me, speak for me and be my companion at all times. Like you did for Esther in Esther chapter 2 verse 15. Joseph in Genesis chapter 39. The Israelites in Exodus chapter 3 21 and 12 36. For you dearest Lord favored them without measure and beyond their capacities and capabilities. Lord I am asking you for the same order of favor, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For in the case of Esther in Esther chapter 2, verse 15. The Bible says. Now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihail the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king, she required nothing but what Haggai the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Therefore dearest father, in that same order I ask, that I find favor in the sight of everyone that I will come in contact with from today henceforth, and everyone that will ever look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Like Esther obtained favor in the sight of King Ahasuerus according to Esther 2 verse 17. 
And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head, and made her queen instead of Vashti. Dear Father Lord, deck me with the favor that will make me the most preferred for blessings, for honors, for promotions and for rewards. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your favor speak for me both in my presence and in my absence, O Lord. Favor me, dearest Lord, in accordance with your word of Psalms 102 verse 13 where your word says, Thou shalt arise, and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time, is come. Father, by the timing and faithfulness of your word, I believe that my time to be favored has come. Therefore, dearest Lord, favor me now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Favor me after the order of Joseph whom you gave favor from his father's house, up to the house of Portiphar, and to the prison, and to the palace. For your word the Bible says in Genesis chapter 39 verse 6. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not aught he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person, and well favored. And in Genesis chapter 39 verse 21 your word says, but the Lord was with Joseph, and showed him mercy, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you extend to me the same order of favor, that will make me the head and adorable wherever I go. In the name of Jesus Christ, give me also favor after the order of the children of Israel. The favor that will guarantee and ensure that I am not turned down or denied of anything that I will ever request or ask for O Lord. For your word the Bible says in Exodus chapter 3 verse 21 that you will give the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it came to pass, that, when they went they did not go empty. Exodus chapter 12 verse 36 And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they lent unto them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians. Give me also dear Lord, favor after the order of Samuel whom the Bible says that he grew and had favor with you and with all the people. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26 And the child Samuel grew on, and was in favor both with the Lord, and also with men. Lord, I need an overflowing favor, even as your word promises in Psalms 5 verse 12. For you O Lord, will bless the righteous, with favor you will surround him as with a shield. These I ask of you dearest Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ the Messiah. Amen. Now, I pray for you my dear listeners. Father in the name of Jesus Christ. As it is said, that a day of favor can pay for years of labor. Dear Father Lord, I pray for all my listeners. Let today be their own day of favor O Lord. Let each of them receive today favor that will pay for their entire lifetime laboring. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them come by your blessings that makes rich without sorrows. In accordance with your word of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 that says, The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Father, favor my listeners with these blessings, in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy unto you all. Please say Amen. From today henceforth, Go and have favor with God and with men. Have favor with anyone that you will ever come across or that will ever come across you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be favored in the morning. Be favored in the noon. Be favored in the afternoon. Be favored at night. Be favored everywhere you go. Be favored every day and at all times. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God's favor locate you at your place of work. May God's favor locate you at your place of business. May God's favor locate you in your schools. May God's favor locate you in your homes. May God's favor locate you in your offices and among your peers, colleagues, your subordinates and your superiors always. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because of God's favor upon your life. You will never know lack, rejections, frustration and shame all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, because of God's favor upon your life, may you never be a victim of armed robbery, kidnapping, violence attacks and evil conspiracies. In the name of Jesus Christ, before they plan, 
may God reveal their plans to you and make you a way of escape, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.